Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Yahweh HaKadosh, double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. Just want to go into a quick lesson and I'm going to just get right to it. This is Hebrews 13 and 1. It says, let brotherly love continue. Okay. And that's one of, you know, the cornerstones of this truth. Okay. And one of the main, you know, important aspects of this truth is the brotherhood, man. Okay. How about Shemi Shai, you know, has given us the brotherhood for multiple things. Okay. You know, you can lean on the brothers, you know, for support. All right, and they pretty much we all we got, man. The rest of these people out here are bug outs, you know. But it's a real blessing, you know, to be able to, you know, get together with men that have the same, you know, mentality that you do, you know, the same spirit. Okay, you should be very appreciative, you know, of the brothers that you have around you and the brotherhood in general. All right. It says, let brotherly love continue and it's straight to the point. Okay, you should, you know, watch how you treat brothers, you know, you can't just be treating brothers, you know, any kind of way. Okay, because you how about Shimmy how shy will hold you accountable for those things, man. All right. You're supposed to look at, you know, uh, the brothers around you like they rep, well, they are representatives of you how about Shimmy how shy. Okay. And the last thing, you know, you want to do is offend, you know, your brother. Okay. Now we know sometimes it happens, but hey, if it happens, you know, the, the parameters are lined out in the scriptures of what measures you're supposed to take, man, to make things right. Okay. This is uh, Matthew 22 and 37. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto him. Thou shalt love the Lord, Yahweh Yahawashai, thy power with all thine heart. And yeah, and that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, how do you show your love for the Heavenly Father? You follow his commandments. Okay, you do what he told you to do. Which part of doing what Yahweh Yahawashai told you to do is loving your brother. Okay, that's, that's an actual commandment, man. All right. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord, Yahweh Shumi Shai, thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay. And going into it, you know, uh, the neighbor. Really, in these days and times, talking about your brothers around you. Okay. You know, the, 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 the men, you know, that's, that, that's laboring. Okay, and that's serving your Habash Shimmy Hawashai just as you are. Okay. You're supposed to love your neighbor, man. Okay, and not, you know, want to do anything ill uh uh towards them. Okay. It says in the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. All right. Now, we don't understand, you know, the, the, the uh, whole nation of Israel, okay, is our neighbors, but more particularly, man, the, the, the brothers that you got around you, you got to be mindful of, you know, how you're treating brothers, how you conduct yourself uh, around brothers, okay, and you don't want to offend a brother, all right? But we know, you know, certain things happen, which this is the reason why these things are laid out in the scriptures on how to deal with it. This is Luke 17 and 1. It says, Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. Okay, you don't want to be that individual, you know, that's responsible for, you know, bringing all these offenses out here, man. Okay, because y'all about to y'all shy, going to destroy you. All right. Well, let me bring this out. Because yeah, if you in this truth, you got a problem with brothers, you in the wrong thing. You know, you don't like the brotherhood. You don't like the, the you know, the men that Yahweh Shumi Shai has put around you. Okay, you don't like the men that have the spirit of Yahweh Shumi Shai. You know, you want you want to see them destroy. Hey, hey, it's something really wrong with you, man. Yahweh Shumi Shai gonna put you to death. This is uh First John two. 
and 8. It says again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past. Yeah, that, that, that's part of that old man. Okay. You know, side eyeing uh, uh, brothers, you know, looking at uh, your brother a certain way. Because, hey, that's how you got to be in the world. Okay. Especially when you hang around niggas. Okay. Your own homie, you know, he, 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 he might set you up. Okay. But see, we, we're different. We're, we're walking according to a different rule. And it's truth. We, we've left that behind us, man. Okay. We no longer conduct ourselves according to the standard of the world. All right. We conduct ourselves according to the standard of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, which teaches us what? To love our neighbor, man. Okay. To treat our brother with a certain level of respect. It says, because the darkness is past and the true light now shineth, which the light is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, he that saith he is in the light. And hated his brother is in darkness even until now. Okay, so if you claim to be a servant of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and you, you know you always got a problem with brothers, you looking at brothers a certain way, you know, hey, you in darkness, man. Okay, you looking at brothers like you want to kill him. You in darkness. All right, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is not dealing with you. Okay, because the brotherhood is a part of the truth. You know, it ain't just about you. You know, doing what the most high told you to you, you're not eating pork, not eating shrimp, you know, you're keeping the high holy days. You being a brother is part of following the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and loving your neighbor. We just read it. He that saith he's in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light. Okay, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness. So you ain't dealing with the, the, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay. See, and this is what can happen to you. You know, if you disregard, you know, uh, how you're supposed to treat, you know, brothers. Okay. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, he can take that spirit from you, man. Okay. It says, but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not. Whether he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. So he's blinded. Okay. Because he doesn't really understand the things he's doing. Eventually is going to lead him to his death. Okay. You having it in your mind that you can treat brothers, you know, however you want to, you know, Hey, if you got that mentality, all right, you going you going to pay for the things that you're doing, man. Okay. Eventually you have by Shimmy, I was shy is going to catch up to you. And it ain't going to end well for you, man. So this is back in Luke, the 17th chapter. I'm going to read uh, verse 1 again. It says, Then he said unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. So that's a, a, a more befitting or uh, that's going to be an easier judgment for you to handle, okay? Or easier death for you to deal with than what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to do to you for bringing offenses, man. Okay, and that's that's a harsh death, okay? You strapping a, a, a tiny millstone to your neck and then throwing the whole millstone in the ocean. You getting dragged down, okay? Your body getting crushed under the pressure of the water, man. That's going to be a uh, uh, easier death for you to deal with than what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai got in store for you. Okay. See, and that's another reason why you should be very mindful of how you how you treat brothers, man. If you really fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you will be mindful of how you treat brothers. Okay. How you treat the brotherhood, man. All right. You know, some people use the brotherhood for uh, their own personal gain. You know, they'll get money out of brothers. OK, we had, we had had examples of niggas that was doing that in the past, hitting brothers up. You know, you you, you want to hand out. OK, and because brothers have, you know, love for, you know, their fellow uh, uh, labor men, they hit you off. OK, they, they, they give you the money, you know, but you always got a, a slime ball nigga that take advantage of that, man. All right. And see those type of individuals, you how about show me how a shot is going to put to death. Okay, individuals that uh, will abuse the brotherhood, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, gonna completely destroy them, man. Take heed to yourselves if thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. And, you know, these are the parameters of, okay, your brother trespasses against you. This is how you handle it. 
You know, you don't just get in your mind, oh, you know, fuck that guy, you know, the most I gonna put him to death. There has to be uh, uh, room for repentance, man. There has to be room for mercy. Okay, because y'all by Shimmy Awashai, he's having mercy on us. We we didn't we didn't went off completely, man. We didn't did all kind of wickedness, and Yahweh by Shimmy Awashai, you know, he's willing to give us a clean slate, so we gotta reciprocate that to our brothers. It says, Take heed to yourselves if thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him if he repents. Alright, if he don't repent, you know, then uh there's more uh guidelines to follow in Matthew the eighteenth chapter. Okay, you can, you know, go to him alone. You can bring a witness with you after that if he doesn't hear you. And then you bring, uh, you know, him before the congregation. If you don't want to hear you then, then you, you, you cast him out. Verse 4, it says, And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day, turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Okay, and this is the same kind of mercy that we, you know, are expecting Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to give to us. All right. So we want to, you know, give that to brothers. So if you're not willing to forgive a man for something that he's done to you, why should you how about how I forgive you for what you've done? You know, this is Matthew 25 and 31. When the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another. As a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, which the sheep represent the elect of the nation of Israel. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left, which the goats represent these other nations. Esau, Edom mainly. Okay, but also two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you're going to have Jake mixed up in that, man. Okay, part of two thirds, they think they're in the truth. You got Israelites that's actually part of the two thirds that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy. Okay, that are they? They think they in the truth. They claim to be true servants of the heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, but when you examine them and you examine their behavior, they not servants of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Which is talking about the elect. It says, For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, In so much as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. So you got to be very mindful of how you treat brothers, man. Okay, you got to be very mindful of how you conduct yourself around the brotherhood. Okay, because each and every brother is a representation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and anything you do against a brother, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to hold you accountable for it as you did it to him. Okay, imagine Yahweh Shai was down here, you know. That's how you got to be, you know, uh, uh, amongst the brothers. It says, and the king shall answer and say unto them, verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren. So the, 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 the smallest brother, you know, the brother that might be, you know, uh, lower on the totem pole, so to speak. OK, you know, you don't really got a, a, a high rank. All right. Which you, you got individuals out there that are that are prey on brothers that ain't got, you know, a, 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 a certain title, man, you know. A new dude uh, in the camp, you're going to go and, and, and pray on him. Oh, he ain't nobody. Well, he, he just came in, you know. But hey, how about Shem Yahweh Shai might be dealing with that man? He might have the spirit of the heavenly father. He might be part of the elect. Okay. And as much as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it to me. So that's how you got to look at it, okay? And then uh, we'll bring this out and we'll close out. 
This is Matthew 7 and 21. It says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Just because you know the names of the heavenly father and his son. Okay, that don't mean Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai going to deliver you. Okay, that don't mean you guarantee the seat on the chariot, man. All right. That's just, you know, you gain an entry into the door. Okay. Or the door being open for you, I should say. All right. It says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, which is doing what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai told you to do, okay? Which a lot of individuals don't do what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai told them to do, all right? Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Yeah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai was never dealing with you. Okay, you was a, you was delusional. All right, <laughs> like a lot of these women out here, man, you bugged out your mind. Okay, you you were highly mistaken. Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Okay? Which that rock is Yahweh. Okay, the rain, the wind, the flood. That represents, you know, different trials and tribulations that you're gonna go through. Okay, different tests that you're gonna experience while in the truth. All right. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell. And great was the fall of that house. Okay. Which eventually, you know, is going to come also when, the, you know, the judgment takes place, man. You're going to think you're good, but Yahweh about Shimei Awashai are going to hit you with all kind of calamities. All right, because you wasn't doing what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai told you to do. You know, so I just want to go into that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Green Millstone. Shalom.